source of match damage is going to be helpful for them. Now, during the summer season of the LEC, when Nikki locked in Tom Kench, we were not the happiest of campers. Let's zoom out and look at what these team comp And like, like I was saying, um, oh, look at this. PK already been caught out somewhere. Didn't quite see the setup. Has got the flash available to him. Not even going to be able to get away. Immediately has pushed Caps into the tower. And again, Gemini has smite. Yankos doesn't. And that's a flash forward. Not going to be able to get damage from end of the line. Smokestream comes up. Pounce away from Yankos. Down to 150 HP. Gemini continues to chase. One more dash forward with a quick draw. The shotgun to the face. And Yankos goes down. Now Caps is in a little bit of trouble. But here comes Wanda. Tactical sweep will slow down Gemini. Precision protocol. The hook shot flash Ooh. connect. Beautiful. Mission, executed. mission, mission almost solo kills Caps in the mid lane too. He Teleport gets the behind. No TP from PK, PK either. Exceptional placement earlier. Mission does have flash available. Gemini's going to be able to walk away for now and chasing for Javelin Toss. Doesn't find the target. Hextech ultimatum does. And G2. From Machi. That was just uh, a failure of the checklist there from Machi a bit because the first checklist is do you have Pryo around? A lot of people are expecting to see more and more Pantheon. Here we go. Mickey jumps on in. That's the flash engage. Flash burned from Bruce. Volley will slow him down. Heal as well. Devour comes up. Spit back into the face of Perks. One extra auto to a minion just for style on Perks' side. And we'll have to tank one extra turret shot to get the kill. I love it. Mickey's trying to make my point before I can even make it myself there. With the Hail of Blades, Tom Kench has so much kill threat. I think against the Pantheon could be a really strong matchup as well. Wanda's in some trouble here if Gemini decides to commit. Remember, the ultimate has now been thrown down, waiting for it to time. Hextech ultimatum not available for Wanda. He's going to step away. Here comes Yankos. Wanda will go down. It's picked up by Gemini. Yankos will just farm away. It's a really away. big deal for Machi because this matchup, like, you're trying to look for that level 2 all-in. Have a lot of power there, and now Qual is in mid. The Ash Arrow comes out. Mission's able to sidestep that. Perk's not able to find his man. The fact that Koala helps up their here. third kill, gold is now even. And while Perks got stunned, there's no further follow-up. No mana, no more damage. Yeah, it's a really nice read from Machi. They expect G2 to play through mid lane. Koala's there to try and punish. And now they can try to take this Herald. G2, they know Bruce's bot lane and they want to fight. He's in so much trouble. Dawn Shadow comes out. The Javelin Toss will connect onto Koala. And he's going to go up into the air, drop right back down. Mission is going low. Yankos is looking for the red buff autos. Mission will survive for now. Flash over the wall from Yankos and Perks is able to finally take down Mission. Now he's running for his life. The shield, the heal, not enough. Gemini takes down Perks and here comes Wonder for a reply kill in the jungle. Now Kowal is the next target and everybody's in the fight. And at the moment, it's G2 winning it. These fights are just He's able to come back after death and get that ultimate straight into the play. And now Mickey is looking for the solo kill against Bruce. Oh, let's see what he can do. Devout he can solo kill in Bruce. A second. This is incredible stuff from Mickey. This Tom Kench is brutal. <laughs> oh my god, they're going to give the kill perks. The lead perks that come in and get the incredible. kill. Incredible. What? Mickey, you monster. What? He steals He's it. He's stuck in that bottom lane. Well, that replay brought to you by Axe. You may need another one. As all of a sudden, Perks is going to get caught out. This time around, the kill is going to be donated. Perks gets a lot of extra autos onto mission, but it simply won't matter. Oh, can they find the skill shots? Can they find the initiation? That's going to be the question we'll need to answer in the next few minutes. Dragon secured here by Machi. Him to speak of in G2. Setting up a little invade. Nikki Yankos cap stepping forward. Gemini is going to be able to quick draw over the wall. Look at the damage, though. Koala is in a little bit of trouble, and that's some of the burst you were talking about, Ender. That's a stun. Root down onto Koala, and he's sent back to the forest. Mickey's going to be able to exhaust mission. Flash over the wall. Caps is going to run for his life and forced to dash backwards. The Winds of War will not do enough. It ends up being a trade. Last, that's the armor he's going to be rocking as Wonder looks for PK. Death Grasp, Hextech ultimates him. Here comes the hero's entrance. So much damage onto PK. Ultimate was on cooldown. And a 3v1. G2 pick up the 10th kill for them in 14 minutes. This should unlock the first tower yep. as well. And it looks like Perks and Mickey can also push in that bottom yeah, lane. It's just supposed to move. It's very nicely done because Machi's entire team is on a reset. PK is up top side. Taking a quick look at teleports here. None available for Machi. Wonder sitting with his. And the Trinity Force completed. He's going to get pulled in. Here comes Yankos. Wanda, the hook shot over inside the death run. Wanda needs to survive long enough for Yankos to be able to help. And oh. he cannot do it. Mace to the face. PK sends him to the fountain. Yankos decides to back away, as you can see. What? Mission oh, making slash onto Bruce. There's no real follow-up. There's a two-man stack in the top lane. As much he could be setting up a dive onto Wanda, who is flashless. The tower will fall in both the middle and bottom. Really, really nuts for that first damage again we were talking about. A lot have. of very squishy champions on G2's side. So 
execution of these team fights is going to be crucial. It is an advantage for G2, but there's still two Ocean Drakes away from Sol. And you can see the rotation coming in here underneath Wonder. He's going to try to defend this tower, but if he sticks around, he is at risk of being jumped on by a Star Force. But look at this. G2 are still pushing with their bot lane, and Wonder is really hard to lock down uh, unless... Yeah, so Caps actually cancelled the reset because he thought he maybe needed to pop an ultimate right there. He's taken away the enemy wolves, I believe. Here we go. Initiation from Koala. Mickey's going to exhaust mission. Root connects down onto Yankos. Here comes Wanda. Hextech ultimates him and instantly deletes Gemini. Now the taunt will land onto PK, but he's locked inside the realm of death with Caps. Machi stepping forward with five members of G2 Esports still willing to turn it back around. PK goes golden, survives a few seconds longer, and despite the stun, it will not be enough. Here comes Yankos, Ooh. pouncing into the fight, goes golden to avoid the unleashed power. And Mission's now going to escape, gets tagged by the volley, flash over the wall. Tord comes down from Captain, he seals the deal. Bruce will be the last to fall. G2 ace much. Oh, G2. You said it several minutes before. And the Caps are going to be in that side and they're looking to fight. They found the fight, but it was just beautiful execution. I mean, it was massive. He got out to a huge lead. He had the items to have insane damage if he was able to find his targets, but so easy. It is two drakes apiece, but Yankos on this is going to be able to easily push on forward here. They're playing two lanes at the time being, with a third opening up as Wonder walks to the bot side, and Machi are going to try to force. Going to look for the pick onto Mickey. He's still got no summons available to him. Grey Health does so much work as the Dawning Shadow comes out, and Bruce is left for dead. There's no follow-up. One, two, three, Whoa. and top of the caps. The follow-up damage. Here comes Wonder. Hextech Ultimate can lock someone inside the baby cage. He's going to look for PK, waiting to come outside the realm of death. And Mickey will get blown up by the Unleashed Power. PK Okay, looking for Yankos and finds him with Death Grasp. G2 should be able to pick up the bottom tower as Machi. I feel like they're recalling to set up or challenge for the dragon, would be my guess. Probably not going to want to force her way in, but bringing five into the area now, maybe they do. Going to just as punch away. Caps needs to flash. Can he get out alive? The Hourglass will buy some time. But the Javelin Toss will tag Gemini, and that's going to be a defensive move from Caps. He escapes with his life for now, but a number of ultimates used from G2. That's a lot of damage onto Koala. The Javelin Ooh. Toss size if Wonder goes over the wall. He's found mission. He's going to be able to blow him up with the help of that Hexic ultimatum. And now Bruce is going to be able to save his life thanks to the root on Wanda and Yankos again the target of PK flash over the wall followed by PK Hourglass comes up and Yankos survives round two G2 beat the Machi dragon and keep pushing for this mid lane this is the third dragon secured for G2 at 30 minutes one away from that soul and it's just a really calculated win so far the last 10 minutes has been all about keeping Machi at arm's length and only allowing them to fight or committing to the fight when G2 feel ready. A lot of damage onto Koala as the inhibitor turret is about to fall. Baron is alive as well, and G2 again coordinated. Wonder's gonna step forward the precision protocol, the javelin toss. Gemini survives a few seconds longer. Koala is gonna jump right back into the fight. Big stun onto Perks, no follow-up though. No ultimate available for missions, so we can take him out. Yeah, no inhibitors either. Mid lane's already down. Dabaling getting low, but the teleport flank comes through. All right, PK is going to have some oh. from Koala. Koala and Yankos going toe to toe. PK is looking for the realm of death. It's on cooldown. It's not available. Ash Arrow will tag up mission, and that's going to allow G2 time to escape. Smoke screen will obfuscate any initiation tools. Death Guard comes out. Caps goes in, goes back out. PK finally jumped in with the realm of death. He's looking for Caps, who's locked inside the realm, and Hourglass won't keep him alive. Now, PK by some additional time and G2 backing out. That's a double kill for PK. But G2 did get the inhibitor and it might not be done yet. Mickey will be the next target. He will be blown up. It will be Bruce that sends him packing. Ken Machi, Machi, I mean, this game was looking all but over, but PK on the flank again showing up in these fights, helping his team claw back. Guys, a 6 4 and 4. G2 will sneak away a significant amount of gold. And they have managed to find themselves a catch here. A lot of damage going down, and Wonder will get pulled backwards. He is popped and looking for opportunities. Just run it down mid, take two inhibs. Mid control here to G2. PK steps forward. Koala takes a big chunk of damage from the Javelin Toss. Realm of Death not available just yet. Flashing over PK. He's dead. He's done. That's the front line from Machi obliterated. Woo! Mission will be taken out by Caps, instantly following onto Bruce. Now Gemini and Koala running for their lives. What does your star sign say? It will not be a good day today. G2 running down Koala for the last 50 second death timers with an exposed inhibitor.
That will be the game. Caps teleports backwards to get the final kill, then ults back into Wander. G2 find the fight. They head off Machi inside of their own jungle. Right if we say things were taking a little long for them to close out, G2 said, we heard you, we heard you talking about us. We're going to end the game right now. <laughs> we heard the casters talking smack. So they just finish it out. 24 kills to 15. G2 Esports take down Machi and remain undefeated. Day three of Worlds. This relief and happiness it will be the Ooh. Jax into the Volley Bay. All right here. Okay, Jax, so they have the side lane threat too. Jax plus Galio, really powerful inside. Oh, Similar is vulnerable and what, Impact's still fighting. He oh, saw this guy course. running for 30 seconds. Now, no access to the ultimate, no flash available either, but neither do Bin and Angel. Counter-Strike will be able to land the stun as well as the taunt. Impact dies. For first blood, Jensen completes the TP. He's looking for the unleashed power, will land it onto Bin, but he won't find the kill just yet. Dark Sphere finally picks it up. One for one, right. but they lost more than they needed to. Trevor, Trevor, here's the thing though, is that look at jungle and look at Bob. Okay, Sora's yep. got access to the solar flare. There's a dive being set up. Again, look at the number of minions that are being denied. Tactical, forced to cleanse, forced to flash. Core JJ doing the same. He's running away. Winds of War may just be enough to do the tick, to do the kill, to do the damage. Core JJ's down. Invade as Jensen will be walking over, but the blue buff is taken away, and Jensen are tactically stuck underneath the tower. Juan Fung will get the cash in 523 on that one. We waited 10 minutes for it, Sooning have it, and now it is all of the LPL teams kind of flip it in bot lane because, like, how much stronger SOFM is, how much stronger their bot lane is. Like, they would yeah. bring the Nidalee down to, like, force the dive really hard. SOFM says, nah, we can just take the dragon. Your guys are going to get the plate anyways. We see Brox. With the time. amount of damage they've got. The ability to swap between. Team Liquid are really moving up here. They want to fight. No flash order. Very bold. SOFM as the Javelin Toss holding on to it very patiently. Solar Flare comes down to Tactical Sword Arts going very, very low. Sidestep away as one Fung is being exhausted and continues to oh, use because this. It's been really hard for him to find a free lane to farm. And now that Suning are grouped up around that objective, he can get the waves for free. But at what cost? Dragon secured. Mid outer secured. Bin is leaving the bottom lane potentially for a dive. Rift Herald yeah. used as well. So, okay, yes, Tactical has got some farm, but look at the bigger pictures, how much further the team could have fallen. are still winning, don't get me wrong, but there's oh, no yes. other option for TL because Tactical didn't have ult, it's just now coming back up. Core JJ lost it because they put everything onto Sword Art. They were always going to lose down here, so even the small wins, like that is just the only possible close to winning play TL have there. 6,000 gold the difference. Three, on the old Nidalee here, especially one. when you're super fed early on because you get a lot of the stats you want to buy and it's really just body blocking. And Fung is going to continue to hammer away with a spinning axis. Dragon will reset. Now core JJ stepping up, trying to get some vision in the pit. TL do have a ward inside the pit, which is going to be very valuable, and they're pressing forward. It's down to 3,000 HP. Brock to once again to the pit for a steal. It's low. He's going to go for the steal, not going to be able to pick it up. Sooner get the Ocean Soul. The Whirling Death flies across Team Liquid. One Fung steps forward. Can't find the kill just yet because SOFM. That takes down Core JJ. Finally, Impact goes down. That Draven's hand. On and the hunt. Uh, Ben's going to be able to chase him down. If they spot him, I'm sure they're fully aware. Can he do it? Hold your breath. Can he do it? Oh! Jensen, he was the guy. We just started talking about him. We haven't given him too much spot. Hello. They're going to find one fun. So much damage coming out. He stays alive long enough for a few seconds. Scout of the week. Jensen's looking to be able to 900 gold. gold. Gets 900 gold. Do you believe in miracles? Brox is trying to find Sword Art and he simply cannot do it for the next fight, but Bin is pushing Botner, looking for the pick. All right, Bin's gonna get jumped on for now. Here comes the entrance. As Who's looking for who? He'll jump in, and that's a retreat from Impact. Sword Art, no Solar Flare available to him, but Zenith Play could come up. Jensen steps forward, ultimate's a few seconds away. He could look for the kill, but Angel is down. gonna be able to find the damage. Tactical is out. It's gonna have to be on Jensen to do something magical. Chucks everything he has at Bin, and it simply doesn't matter. 35 second death time. Tactical lost everything in the last fight, so Sooning continue to force Brock to his respawn, though, but Sooning Still in the base looking for the inhibs. Angel is going to be able to thwart the follow up engage onto Bin. SOFM and the rest of Suning will take out the bottom lane inhibitor. The middle lane inhibitor is exposed. It's one minute to Elder. That's a knock up onto Bin. And all of a sudden, Team Liquid don't have vision inside the pit. Do you believe in miracles? Because that is what Team Liquid need right now. They cannot get through their jungle. They cannot get into the pit. They can't do it. They cannot get close for a steal. Or JJ is going to. Team Liquid it. have one final chance to hold on to their Nexus. No summoners on tactical. Jensen has the flash available. Some damage landing onto Bin. 
Counter-Strike will dissuade further follow-up. Juan Fung steps forward, starts autoing the tower. That's a stun onto Tactical. He gets caught by Whirling Death, but isn't sentenced to it. Not gonna find the Sonic Wave. Brox is not gonna find the impact. Impact's not gonna find the kill. He's blown up as Core JJ underneath the tower. A dash forward onto Tactical as Angel is on a rampage. Bin gets another, and Impact runs for his life. You cannot stop Draven from Sooning, and they take down Team Liquid. Sooning in that game, just from start to finish. Ooh, okay, so Dom1, uh, of course, like, uh, Barrel's Thresh is gonna be really insane, so, like, playing around mid lane, getting roams off, that's all great. Uh, but now the interesting... Like this from Kai Wing, the gank not quite gonna work out, but it will help River fight for the Scuttlecrab. Unified, those are 1v2, what's oh, going on? Are you there? He's been caught out and taken down. You cannot play far forward when your support is not there. It just should not be happening here with Kai Wing walking. Like, Kai Wing's like, what's happening? I, I go away for one second, all of a sudden you're dying. That's a big, big problem. And now, where River was just about to get double scuttle crabs, his, his, his mark spawn on the bot side. You know, Barrel should be able to roam up here in theory. River might be able to smite this one away very quickly. Oh, 19 HP. Oh, that was very close. Canyon's very low. Flash over the wall from Kai Wing. Anticipate. The are coming for the dive. Okay, no level six yet for Nagri. He's got the flash available. Kai Wing's level two, by the way. Level two. Manages to get the dredge line as Hanabi tanks up the tower. Kai Wing picks up the kill, but it is traded back for so River. Four gold difference in the advantage for Dom1. River is going to continue putting pressure. He will be met by Canyon here. As the Lantern was picked up. Ghost is going down to River. River not he needs to put the Polymorph before Nuguri gets ult off. Will be problem. There's the Polymorph. He's not going to be able to stop the storm though. A lot of stuns coming out. Kai Wing's going low. Hanabi's tanking. And River oh. gets. Then we talked about Arden Sensor. Exactly right? how she's doing. You, you get. Oh, hello. That's Flash over the wall. Dredge Line will find Beryl. He's still got Flash available. Manages to get the Flay. Kai Wing will go golden thanks to the stopwatch and the scatter that we won't find a target. But the collateral damage of Herald in that minion wave. Tank is closing the gap, but it does look like Cannon should be able to finish that dragon before PSG can arrive. Yeah, something sus, something's but uh, I think he's gonna get banged. Oh, there we go. There's a slicing maelstrom thrown down. A wild growth will buy some time, and the collateral damage sends him back. A couple of towers under pressure. Showmaker should be able to pick this one up here with a very large minion wave to work with. Tank and Kaiwin now need to save oh, River Collateral. The only real tank on this team is in the support position, so you don't have a lot of money there, too. So, oh, Barrel. And look at that. Flash over the wall. Instantaneous engage. That's a great stun from Showmaker. Teleport's complete, and a tank picks up the second. Lamb's respite was used. 40 seconds to Infernal. And now Hanabi wants to get under the tower. Slicing Maelstrom comes down. Protobel pops forward. Hanabi steps further backwards, trying to slow him, trying to enlist the help oh. of the tower. The minions, the army, and it's not oh. going to be enough. Noggery gets the kill. He's being chased by a bunch of minions, and he will get out alive. The solo kill between the towers from Noggery, just throwing down with the Lulu in the old school matchup. You love to see it coming out from him. Just knowing the absolute limits of the champion, that was one auto away from him losing. That was so, so close. Fighting in the minion wave as well. Hanabi just wasn't able to pull Nagari close enough to the tower. There, so popping out of the lightning rush, you get rapid fire auto attacks off, which apply the passive marking. They've got themselves another Rift Herald, taking down the second tower of the Side game. Lane. All five members looking for him, while Damwon pushed down mid. I'm gonna commit for this one. Wild Growth used already. Nagari's gonna jump forward. Hanabi's de already dead. That was a four versus one. Yeah, it's just to show up in a side lane to pick up free farm. All the CS, all the towers. Kaiwin gets caught out, tagged by the box. Multi man stunned oh. once again. But there comes Tank. The slide glide Empress divide will set them up for a kill onto Beryl. Can they close it yeah. out around the map? And PSG now looking for an opportunity to Watch the flank from Nagari. He's going all the way around the world. The flank. It feels like Hanabi and Tank are aware of it. Uh, inside the pit, picked up by PSG. That'll delay the soul. All of a sudden, Canyon forced to flash and defla play defensive before Wait his life. for Nagari. He's waiting the whole time. He's going to timeout, and here comes Nagari. Double kill for Showmaker. Nagari is going to use the exhaust onto River. He finds himself another, turns to Hanabi, and it's Showmaker that closes is out the end. You knew it was coming. You knew he was gonna wreck. The Showmaker manages to pick up three kills and an assist. It seems they'd ever sent to Worlds and they brought a new style. They played it quick and they play it clean. That's yeah. the big thing. Yeah. Someone on track to go 3-0. Close out the first round, Robin. Nagari, you know there's a Baron buff, right? They can, they can sort of tell <laughs> you're there. <laughs> uh, maybe it's Bates. Maybe it's next level. 
I know you know. Therefore, <laughs> nevertheless, there is are fighting in the open area either. That's where the flanks can be really, really difficult to work against. Dom One just going to run it straight down middle lane. Sieges. That's just going to take everything down. PSG do not have the tools to fight, but the arrow does connect. It does instantly. Oh, beautiful Mikhail's. Yep, Mikhail's the pre fire on it. Exactly. And uh, inhibitor number one is taken down. Inhibitor number two is about to be threatened. Still got 30 seconds left on this Baron buff. No Ash Arrow available. Dom Juan will be very happy. I think uh, between uh, Dom Juan, JDG, Rogue, the level they've showed as well. Very... The fight. Keep your eyes on the Lamb's respite. As soon as those are down, that's when Nogri goes in. He may even be able to go in earlier. He has the zone. He has the hook lands. High wing's in trouble. Wild growth. That's one. His lamb's respite is down. Here he, he comes. The fire is available. Here comes Nogri. He's kicked backwards. But PSG are running into the slicing maelstrom. They're caught between a cannon and a Dom Juan team composition. And it all goes down. PSG put up a tough fight in the beginning. But Dom Juan in the first round, Robin, undefeated. And they're gonna wait. They want all the kills they can get on top. Not gonna get it at the end. Dom one old favorite here in the Blitzcrank. And the this is gonna be a, a an interesting lane. Yeah, uh, one could say this is gonna be very. They don't necessarily have a massive amount of damage, but they will Ooh. be able to take this one down. Great rocket grab from Vander as Kanavi's gonna have to flash to get himself out of the way. But multiple sleeps. That's a big battle star as well. And a sleepy bear hip does find the brush. However, Zoom trying to oh. dash around and here's the Chinese Renekton we've been looking for. First blood comes down and he's not done yet. Finn's gonna turn up, but maybe you don't want to be here, buddy. As Han Sama comes through from the top side, the crocodile eventually falls down. As now it's Larson's turn to try and chase this one down. And damn, it was going slowly before, but that was some exciting stuff. And one of the things to mention while all this chaos is unfolding around the Rift Carol, hold on, it's not Here done yet. Okay, he does manage to land the Paddle Star, but is he going to be able to keep himself alive? As okay, Bubble not going to connect shorts a little bit there as the Hawk Shot does come in. Lumao scooped up and handed over to Han Sama. JDG, what, what was that? Gobbled up. <laughs> And uh, Zoom also going to be a benefactor of that one as Loken gets that 410 gold. Starts moving around the map. She's the one that Rogue's team composition outside of an Enchanted Crystal Arrow or Blitzkank pole, they have no real way to get her. And so that's going to be very difficult because Azir does not want to run head first into Bard or Lilia or Renekton that just point and click stuns them if he tries to go for a Shurima Shuffle. So. Things are looking very rough right now for Rogue. But another decent uh, rocket grab. Zoom's gonna call that a gap close. As the stun comes down, Vander in a little bit of trouble. That's Ooh. a fantastic cosmic binding, but the Emperor's Divide not gonna be enough, and now Larson caught out with a tempered fade. He's underneath the turret, but this is JDG. I don't know whether that's gonna be safety. As the arrow comes down from Han Summer, it looks like the pizza move huh? is on oh. as Lumao gonna flash himself to try and get out of the way as he does pick up the kill onto the bear. One for one so far in this small skirmish, but Lumao in between two turrets because that out hasn't been taken yet. And now Zoom and Yugao trying to get their way out of here. Good sidestep. Don't know how Yugao knew that. It's just a great Ooh. reaction time there as the... Uh... Oh, oh! Okay, Zoom underneath the turret trying to get the execution and he does so in his back pocket. So looking like uh, a little bit more of the supportive uh, Nidalee this game. A little bit of good RNG for JDG as the Scuttlecrab. Ooh. Tempered Fate. Crap. Still gonna save the turret though, which he could have tried oh. to do. As Zoom flashes on forward Vanda. Lands a rocket grab. There's a lot of CC now onto the crocodile, but it doesn't matter. It's just a dead blitzcrank. And now Konami's flashing forward. Watch out, he indeed is Hans Thomas. Coming up, JDG. Well, Rogue with the TSM Classic grouping in. They tell him to straighten up really quick. Oh man, it's, that's gonna be out of target mid lane. His second charge into the inner Through their items. Rapid fire cannon on the Caitlyn so that she's able to be that much safer. Finn's coming down here though. Yeah, Empress Divide's gonna pull back Zoom. Dominus is gonna be popped here as he uses the Cult to make to try and get some health back. The ulti through from Finn. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but finally Inspired comes down. Uh, into one Ooh. another. Arrow also going Ooh. to land as Vanda flashes with the grab. And you ain't getting out of that one, Lou. If they want to come back into the game, they're going to need Miracle Blitzcrank pulls. They're going to need pick offs on stray members of JDG. Little skirmish. And uh, Vanda goes on over with the rocket grab. Actually finds the Caitlyn somehow. Logan uses everything. Manages to escape his now Zoom. He's come forward yet again. Does have the flash available Ooh. very, very soon. But it's not here just yet as the Drowsy comes through onto the Blitzcrank. Unfortunately, going to be taken. As 
Drowsy. Yeah, out comes through. Gets a Drowsy somehow. How the heck did that work? You got oh. Sleeps laid oh. upon Sleeps. Is that's going to be a gap close from Vanda? As there's a flash forward. The slice. The dice. Finn going to be taken down. It's a double kill before the crocodile falls. The flash forward from Blue Mountain. The flash in response there from Impan. As Blue Mountain, that was very cute. Matt, Soul just... point Atlas for a Mountain Soul, which is going to be. Pretty impossible for Rogue's yep. team. And the Runan's Hurricane, he'll have the IE coming through pretty soon as oh. there's the sleep. But it's a bait out of Rogue, I love this. Kanami gonna flash out of the way. The Tempered Bait is just extraordinary oh. out of Lumao as you go. I don't know how he threaded that needle, but he did. And now it's a dead Han Sama. The uh, spear is gonna go wide and Vanda stuck against the wall. There's a Blast Cone, but it's gonna be taken by Kanami after the Watch Out Ethers. Oh no, we're going to sleep yet oh. again. And the Caitlyn with that ace in the hole. For the Mountain Drake. Basically spawned rope. Larson. This is disastrous. Well, Empress Divide onto three, but he falls asleep afterwards. It made him tired, and now he's trying to run away. Finn gonna be the first target. He'll be taken down as Zoom grabs that kill. And now Larson, he's gonna get flashed on here by Yagao, who's picked up a couple of them. The uh, trouble bubble not going oh! on, but there's the flash forward of the paddle star. Control Will here towards the Baron area, but now they're getting corralled. Luma flashing forward, Ooh. doesn't get the stun as in goes Zoom, just trying to choose his targets. Only half health now as in goes Finn. It says that he's unstoppable, but you stop him by killing him, and that's exactly what JDG will do. Baron is just the closest one <laughs> yeah, to them. Get what's in front of you. And maybe make a pick in the event that JDG would just send one member oh, to no. get the dragon. Well, Vanda's definitely dead. The aftershock wears off, and uh, probably didn't even really matter there as uh, the drowsiness continues. That's an ultimate used. So a bit of respect given over to Larson there, but that's the ace. So 11,000 gold now the lead. You've got Mountain Soul. You've got Baron Buff. I don't think JDG could really get anything. For a lot of these uh, other units, is the arrow isn't going to find the Lilia. Oh. And uh, Inspired goes oh. to sleep. Yigao says, all right, stay asleep, my friend, as uh, the Nidalee's taken down. That's going to spell the inhibitor turret as well as uh, another sleep comes forward. Larson flashes to try and get as much distance. Is it enough as the Tempid Fate will catch him out? And JDG are going to close the gap. Lilia will pick up that kill. And now JDG probably just going to say goodnight to this particular game and take it all the way up this mid lane. Not a lot of summoner spells remaining, but there's also not a lot of towers left remaining on Rogue's side. As Finn doesn't have an ultimate, they don't really have too much hope at all as JDG will answer us and say that they may yet be able to get to the top of this group. Bottom side is it is going to be Senator Tom Kench down there. And this is what I was talking about, about Unicorns of Love's drafting, is they seem to be aware. See what he can get done on his phase rush graves. It's going to be spotted pretty quickly as our solo Ooh. now might be in trouble. There's the flash, but it's not going to get him far enough. And first blood is so Lead. And he'll get back to lane with some uh, decent stuff here as well. Remember, no flashes here in this mid lane as no man's chasing after Santorin here as a Nazik going to come in. That's a great uh, smoke oh! screen, but Power of oh, says goodbye to Orion. Into bottom to try to maintain the freeze. Otherwise, Wild Turtle and Ignar, they would crash this wave and then pull it. Here we go. Yeah, boss. Gonna have to flash to get out of the way, and he is going to keep himself alive. Santos is in here. And he's got the unsealed spell book. He'll be absolutely fine. Is now Solo. Just gonna be taken out. Uh, didn't really want to be there. No man's, he might get completely yeah, trouble. The quickness comes down, there's the grand entrance. Power of Evil says goodbye. I'm surprised that Wild Turtle's coming over here. Yeah, well, they just want to try and get as many kills as they can. As in goes Igna, good knock up there, but the Devourer is in. Santos might have actually stepped a little bit too far forward, though, as there's the on on Gets a decent knock up there, but only onto Solo as Santos has made it completely Whoa. out, and Ananasik gets it with the collateral. Well, he can death. reliably reach her without FlyQuest being able to have a say about it. And so right. just to try and do some minion damage, but Solo, he can't follow up to anything. As uh, FlyQuest use, lose yet another one as... Oh no, uh, they predicted the charge! No. Oh, no! He wasn't able to grab it. And that's actually a pretty important defense by Unicorns alone. He's gonna be forced to reset... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, but not. MF? Yeah, okay. Let's see what Wild Turtle can get done. Collateral damage avoided completely. And it... Bullet time, okay. Well, you may as Now, even Ignar is here. Boss keeps moving. It might be an opportunity for Ignar to get through. There's the stun. Is Ignar going to be able to get the knockup? Do they have any damage is the question. It looks like they may, oh. as the Ignite was ticking no. down. It's not going to be enough. The flash forward. Ignar is also going to fall, though, as that's 
that's going to be the electrocute part. I think picking up the kill onto Nomad. That's why you take the keystone, ladies and gentlemen. Because now Wild Turtle is going to take down this outer turret, and they're like, Solo, it's fine. We will win this game. It doesn't get any gold at all is super duper oh, useless no. as, uh, okay, uh, goodbye, Mr. Crocodile. They're gonna be careful with the Rift Herald. They don't want it to charge onto the old, but Unicorns of Love are the ones that are still in the lead, but Power of Evil has the chance uh, to change looking that. looking for the fight. There's the Devour already on cooldown. Santos is probably going to fall down, and he is as Wild Turtle grabs that one. The Shockwave does basically no damage as now Nomad's forced to run away. Wild Turtle will get to work on the Inhibitor turret, perhaps, as Solo oh, trying to fight Boss yet again does get the Cull to Meek. You're down to 100 health, Mr. Crocodile. Don't go back in. Oh, he's looking for it, but he just gets fire breathed on him. I have no idea why he decided to go back for that one. That was definitely very aggressive, and I appreciate that part of it, but otherwise not too much is now boss. Definitely going to be dead as Wild Turtle helps clear that one up. It's Power of Evil that somehow collects the kill. No idea how. The Fly Quest will get to work on this turret, so it doesn't matter. Solo seems to just be dying over and over again, but Fly Quest keep alive. There's no man's looking to try and clockwork wind up that one to death, and he's going to be able to do so. Edge of Night was completed for the Graves. Ah, uh, boss, very, very close to dying there as the bullet time careens forward. That's going to be the inner turret taken down, but Igna doesn't get any of the knockups. It's the old defensively there from Sandoran, oh. who flashes out of the door. Oh, no! Oh, power of evil! He gets exhausted and shut down by Inanna Sick. And oh, no, Solo slowed down so early there, but flashes on forward. The Devour denies the Renekton, and more fire no. being breathed forward. The flash on top Absolute of him! God, by the way. Just saving everyone at every turn. Uh, Spellbinder comes in for, for No Man's I, uh, I think I started talking about this before, but I'm going to have to stop talking about it yet again as Power of Evil. Going to have to flash to get on out of the way. There's the Shockwave to pick up the Syndra. He just wants to throw down an ultimate. And uh, is it not down to half? Oh, Over oh. goes Anana Sick as the Ornhorn comes down. Not going to get the knockout. Oh, does find Santorin actually. It's in goes Solo. Can he take down No oh. Man's? Remember, this Ariana is also very, very low, but he just gets kited. As our division is going to get oh, cleared man. by UOL. Syndra needs to show up solo. You can see he's looking for the flank. Here yeah. we go. The Dominus has been popped. Oh, that's a great knock up there from Ignar as they get it towards the back line. The Tom Kench already taken down. Gadget destroyed. No, he's going to survive. Solo's taken out, but it is going to be Santorin that locks down the dragon. <laughs> I'm glad that we just didn't plonk him down yeah. in the middle of the Baron Pit just to try and make things a little bit more exciting. But uh, it's going to be this Red Bull Baron power play that's going to show us so much about whether or not FlyQuest can get themselves any sort of kill onto Solar here towards the top side. And FlyQuest are going to use that in order to take down this inhibitor turret in the mid lane. It had regen itself quite a lot, but uh, not going to be regening anything now. But it is lying as rubble on the floor, and Solo going to utilize that one by uh, taking down this inner turret. That number needs to get high. It is currently at about 3,000. They want to break open this base. Great double stun there from Power of Evil. And they will take down this inhibitor. Here we go. Push out the minion wave. Power of evil. No shield anymore as Make It Rain comes down. And Anasik out of position. They pile on top of him. But the devours there. Santos keeps him alive. Wild Turtle in there. And Boss just soaks the entire bullet time. And FlyQuest unable to actually grab themselves a pick. Some abilities on some pretty long cooldowns. Yeah. As Wild Turtle. Oh my god, look at oh, the stats and Anasik. Gadget in so much trouble. But the snares come down. Santorin is able oh. to get in there, but the shutdown on the Wild Turtle. He wanted to take matters into his own hands. Power of Evil is still alive. In oh. goes Solo as it is going to be Power of Evil grabbing the kill on the gadget. Both teams without their marksmen. And Ignar tries to get in, but the battle dance is going to be for naught as Power of Evil against the world. We thought it might be that, but he still had the ultimate. The spears are coming down. Boss is trying to get the hell out of there. This guy is the whole team. <laughs> They're running away from just the Syndra. I, I do not know exactly what's going on here right now. Oh, that was so close. This is pretty insane. He's going to swing around. Yep. He's almost in the Chovy position, LS. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's a great stun on DeSantos. Oh, I mean, I, no matter who wins this game, Chovy's MVP. <laughs> we knew that. That's <laughs> always how it is. Yep. Going to be a little bit more awkward in our next game if uh, Top Esports are able to take it. Is all oh, not going to be able to grab that stun. Uh -oh. Power of Evil, he's still in full health. Santorin's even getting some poke in there as Boss throws oh, out man. the on horn. Not going to land it the first time. There's the Shockwave. Power of Evil might be out of position, but the Scatter of the Week is so damn good. No Man's gets oh. himself the Protect Shield, though. The teleport is going to come through. It's Solo 
to the rescue, but the double kill is going to still be there for No Man's. He's the one trying to get himself some redemption oh! as well, and Santos Here will make Gadget! his way out, but it is going to be... Into the first one for UOL. Let's see whether they can lock this one down as FlyQuest. We've got teleports coming in, Abyssal oh! Voyage, to get Santos into position, and Igna, he's going to go golden. There's the Dawning Shadow to try oh! and deny and the bullet time as the Baron is so incredibly low. Oh, the oh, snipe no! from No Man's! Santos is very low as well, and the Orianna has been taken out of this fight. Oh my god, the scan of the week. Centaur secures the Baron! And now this thing is going to be taken off the board. And FlyQuest, they are so close to, to an ace. Only the bottom lane exists for UOL. And I think they did it. Atlas, I think Power of Evil enough. Syndra's range against Senna. I'm pretty sure FlyQuest have just secured the first win for North America, and they keep their hopes alive in this group with a miracle comeback here. And against all odds as well. I mean, this composition wasn't supposed to be able to do this as Santos is trying to round up these minions, but it does not matter. The last remaining Nexus Tower will fall down, and North America is still alive at world. Challenger that yep. plays mid and top Nocturne, so maybe Chovy's run into him it was also a couple a of times. Of in uh, the Casper Cup at the beginning of the year. Yes. Uh, so certainly something that Chovy has dealt He's with. He's very well aware of this control ward that's in this position. And there's the vault forward. 369 taking a lot of damage. And there's the flash out of Goshing. There's oh, double no. forward. The Q is going to miss. The flash forward and still gets the first. They have no idea that this is being taken. And uh, when the dragon starts yelling, that's when they'll know his paranoia comes in. Flash out immediately, but the follow flash comes in. Knight, no banner actually, so not going to be out of dusk brink, but all cards are immediately exhausted. And that's going to keep Chovy alive really quick on the fingers. Waiting to see if anyone's going to come over and try to. Ooh. Destiny Gate available. Yeah. He's going to come in. There's the Destiny Gate. No paranoia up. There's, uh, there's a good fear, but Gold Card's going to come through, and there are just not quite enough shields available for this Nocturne. Of Yoshik to try and lock that one down. The DRX R2 and 0. Not out of the woods just yet. This Kasa. These spears coming on in. He's trying to steal this one away. I'm not entirely sure who took it. And Yoshik is going to show us that it was DRX. That spear's going to miss his carrier. Finally, just going to try and flash his way out. He's going to be the sacrificial thresh. And Jackie Love is going to get some revenge, some lore. Ooh. Oh, okay, so. He's going to connect. Vox comes down as well. Yuyanja. The Whirling Death comes in. There's the Paranoia. Explosion of damage for the heal. He's going to keep Carrier alive. Dawning Shadow says no, however. And the Thresh will bite the dust. 2-2 Two -two the kill score now, but Death might just be the third one here for top. Picking up these axes. And there isn't a minion wave. He's trying to play the Dance Dance Revolution where he can. <laughs> and it's working out pretty well so far. As I said, he will be taken down, but it took five people. So pretty well. And that's going to lock down these last couple of plates. So if I was a DRX fan, uh, and I am, I'd probably say that this was <laughs> Well, they are still very far ahead in the gold lead. But Infernal Dragon's going to be picked up by Top Esports. They also going to say good night to this outer turret. Jackie Love, he's got his Ghost Blink at this point in time. Hook goes out, doesn't find anyone. The box was already placed down as the teleport comes forward. Kyoji's oh. not going to be able to secure the dragon. It's going to be the second for TS, and now the fight is on. The stand aside comes out, Dawning Shadow, a fair bit of damage now as DRX are on the run, but the paranoia says no. That's going to be a dead Quinn. The hook is going to connect here, but Devour exists and will deny. And that's not what you expect in a, against a center lane. As uh, another paranoia coming through here as Knight showing his prowess. It is two versus one, and Pyoshik's going to come forward, make that a three. As uh, Doran over to the side, he does press W to see that there are four people after him, and he gets the bad news. Yes. 369, this looks like he's out of position. Um, can't really riddle away out of that one, as uh, Doran's going to be out of lockdown. See Doran. Yeah. Oh no, he was spotted! And that is going to be that. That's a decent vault to try and get out of the way, but the fear is too strong. And all but the gold lead. Yeah, right. This gold lead has not changed, really, until now at uh, Tower of Slowly breaking them apart at pretty much every stage. Second Mountain Dragon picked up. Well, you've got a potential kill on a 369, but Knight's trying to say no as that's the flash out. Quinn has to get out of there, knows exactly how that one works as the Lee Sin's just going to get bopped. Knight going to survive on the back end, and now Chovy having to deal with three other people. The Devour there for fun from Yu Yanja as the uh, Zonius comes in. Oof. And that is a very They get good. themselves the Baron, and let's see what they can do with this Red Bull Baron power play. Indeed. It is 
is going to be taken very, very easily. No whirling death even now. Soul will be available for them. Knight up here towards the top side is an absolute. Uh, as uh, now, Knight might find himself in the wrong spot. He's going to flash. Paranoia comes through as well. But unfortunately, that's most of his mobility now done, especially with Dustbringer no longer there. The rest of Top Esports turn up, but it's a little bit too late. It's going to be a four versus five. Chovy going to get turned on here by 369. Doesn't quite do enough damage with Kyoji. Going to kick the cross. Oh! Oh, three people. That was extraordinary. Chovy grabs the kill under the creeper and shuts down the cash in for Deft. And they wipe the floor. This goes your Baron Power play. It was a little bit too far extended up here in top lane. And I was very surprised. The DRX, they still have oh. an uphill battle oh. spear. Not going to oh. connect. There's the hook on the Yandra, but he does have that QSS. The Quinn is going to get out, but the Lee Sin not so lucky. And look. Anything you can do, I can do. is going to put Chovy in position. Gold card at the ready. Who's going to start the fight, though? Oh, that's a decent stun there, but they've got heals galore. And Chovy able to get himself out of the way. Down at half health now, though, as Pyoshik landing the Q. But is he going to be able to deny this Drake? He is. Actually, no. It's Doran, but whatever. Derek. There's the Destiny. No mysteries here for DRX, but they're still going to lose. Okay, the flash out. Abyssal Voyage comes on forward. Carrier doesn't find the hook. It is going to be able to get out of the way as the box did basically nothing. Now, a few cooldowns unable to be used. Okay, Jackula frontlining right now. Deft as well, though, is in trouble. Has to use the heal. Whirling Death comes through. Sorry! All of the healing. Chovy goes golden at just the right time. Caster doing exactly the same thing, but there is the Nocturne taking down the Twisted Fate, and now things are starting to fall apart. The DRX Carrier also taking to the Death Realm as Deft going down so incredibly low. And ladies and gentlemen, I think this might just be the end of the game as top esports do finally find potentially the killing blow if they find a minion wave. And I think, Atlas, this probably is it. The death timers are way too long. Dragon Kick is available. I don't think it's going to be able to buy enough time. This is five champions yeah, all still know. alive. Lee can't even 1v1 the Tom Kench. Carry is going to be up in four seconds' time, but I don't know what a little Thresh is going to be able to do in this moment. The two rookies on DRX are going to try as they might to get this one done. But the last Nexus turret is going to be taken down. Five members of Top Esports make a statement against DRX in their second game. They will remain undefeated in this group and stop Korea.